The following portion of daytime is sponsored by HCA Florida Healthcare. If your calcium levels are consistently high, our next guest says it's not normal and it's not something to ignore. Here to share why this could be a sign of parathyroid disease is Dr. Jamie Mitchell from the Hospital for Endocrine Surgery. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. All right, let's start with the basics. What exactly is parathyroid disease and who's most likely at risk for it? Let me uh, begin by explaining what parathyroid glands are because I find that most people have never heard of these. Okay, so we're born with four parathyroid glands and they're really small. They're about the size of a grain of rice and they're located in the neck near the thyroid gland. But it's important to know that they have no functional relationship to the thyroid. Parathyroid glands are responsible for regulating our calcium levels and parathyroid disease occurs when one or more of these glands becomes overfunctioning. Usually this occurs because a benign tumor called an adenoma grows in one of these glands. And elevated parathyroid hormone levels causes high calcium levels in the bloodstream. And there are a number of health consequences to this over time. Specifically, your risk for having a heart attack, having a stroke, and having renal failure all go up significantly. Additionally, because parathyroid hormone removes calcium from our skeletons, this also causes accelerated bone loss and osteoporosis. Wow, this, this can lead to a lot of big issues. And calcium is actually one of those things that normally does get checked in an annual wellness visit, but what is the number that we should know is too high? So it's a great question. Most assays for calcium will, will include up to 10.5 as being in the normal range. However, as we get older, our, our, we need less calcium in our bloodstreams. And so most adults over age 40 really should have calcium levels in the nine range. If your calcium levels measure above 10, your doctor really should check a parathyroid hormone level, and if it measures in the upper end of normal or is elevated, you very likely have hyperparathyroidism. And let's talk about the symptoms, because it just can take away from the joy of life. What are the symptoms that people should be on the lookout for? Sure, so the most common symptoms of the disease include chronic fatigue, which can be debilitating, bone and joint pain, which can often be severe, Neurocognitive deficits, specifically short-term memory loss and the inability to concentrate effectively, and also various mood problems. Malaise, depression are common, and so this really interferes with the patient's quality of life. And parathyroid disease does require surgery in, in cases, but that may make people nervous. What should they know that they can do to maybe minimize any risks in that level? Sure. So this is a surgical disease, which means there's no medicine or pill you can take to treat it. The only way to fix this problem is to figure out which gland has the tumor and remove it. Fortunately, in experienced centers like at the Hospital for Endocrine Surgery, this is an outpatient surgery. It takes about 15 to 30 minutes to perform. It's incredibly safe and not difficult to recover from. Most patients are up doing normal activities even the day of surgery. Oh, that's encouraging. <laughs> it's also important to note that taking out a parathyroid gland does not commit you to any lifelong medication and it doesn't cause weight gain. These are common concerns that my patients have. All right, and the Hospital of Endocrine Surgery right here in Tampa has world-renowned doctors. If someone feels like they need to reach out, what should they do? So the first thing I would say is do not let your doctor convince you to just watch this or wait and see. We see this very commonly. This disease, for the reasons we've talked about, really should always be treated. And you should find the most experienced surgeon that you can. And the Hospital for Endocrine Surgery is really an incredible place. We do between three and 4,000 of these operations each, each year. And I would encourage patients to go to our website, parathyroid.com. There's a wealth of information about the disease as well as links that make it really easy for them to be evaluated by one of our surgeons. And I can tell you a wealth of information as well. Thank you so much for being here, Dr. Jamie Mitchell. And you can visit hospitalforendocrinesurgery.com to find out if high calcium could be affecting your health. Daytime will be right back. The preceding portion of Daytime was sponsored by HCA Florida Healthcare. 